Брать с собой надо вообще. Да. Sometimes get rid of the hunger. So now when you're burning your own fat, wow, you get rid of the hunger. Okay, you're not hungry anymore. It makes it easy to do this. You don't crave anymore. And that's why healthy keto and intermittent fasting is very successful long term because it allows you to stick to it because you're not hungry all the time. You're not craving. Sometimes when you look up keto, you'll see this little pie chart thing right here. It'll say 20% protein, maybe 70% or 65% fat as far as the total calories, 5% carbs. Okay, this is very confusing for people because you have to calculate calories into grams and this and that. Um, this is the simplicity right here. If you just envision your plate, okay, this is your plate. Half of the plate should be salad or vegetables, okay? A quarter of the plate should be protein. And the other quarter should be fat. So this 65 or so, and the other quarter should be fat. So this 65 or 70 percent fat, which seems like a lot of fat. Now remember, one gram of fat is more than twice the calories of carbs and protein. So this is misleading. In reality, the volume of fat is really only you know a quarter of your plate, and, and a lot of this fat is actually mixed with the protein. So it's not as much as you think. And then we have this small amount of carbs out here. Just to keep it really, really simple. Okay? And healthy keto and intermittent fasting is not just about weight loss. It's about getting you super healthy for reducing inflammation, for helping your cognitive function, helping your overall mood, uh, making the body work better. Okay? So now that you have the basics, now you can go to the rest of the videos. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you're liking this content, please subscribe now, and I will actually keep you updated on future videos. Хотите бургер с бататом? Самое важное – собственный фарш. Формируем котлету и на сковороду. Булочки, чеддер, теперь сборка. Скрепляем, батат уже готов, и наш фирменный соус. Не дайте ковиду лишить вас любимых вкусов. Выбор за вами. Вакцинируйтесь. Есть такие места, куда ходить не надо. Ну там что, убивают что ли? А если так? Больше туда не лазьте. Место там гибает. Здесь кто-то живет. Привет. Alright guys, you just watched my the basic plan, the overview. This is video two. We're gonna dig into some more of the details. Um, this is mainly for people that are new to my channel. Again, I have 2,500 videos, and uh, if you get lost in all the details, you know, rather than posting, see that here, you just say, "Take care of your body." You know, just to be with you, I'm just doing this. Why do you do that? I don't know. It's very good. Нет, нет, ты не про меня. Ну, я тоже не исключение, но я не про это сейчас. Я говорю, что теория такова. Смотри, ты все равно... Вот что у тебя для тебя самое важное в жизни, как бы типа святое, ну, скажем, я не имею в виду какие-то там пафосные штуки. Ну, вот что важно, что тебя... Ну, ладно, давай не святое, просто... Что для тебя вот самое важное в жизни? Вот что тебя ведет, там, не знаю, любовь к, 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 к религии, говорит, или любовь, ну, даже так пусть будет книжники какие любовь к знаниям, там, не знаю, да не важно это все, да. даже к своей семье, там, что-нибудь типа того, что, ну, ты считаешь самым нужным, и ты пока с этим даже не разбираешься, как оно дальше, так вот, ты просто живешь пока какое-то время, да, и, понимаю, и раз, короче, и в какой-то момент, там, да, то есть, даже не обязательно, что заболел, ну, да, понял, да, ну, он тебя, да, 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 но, но это я не это имел в виду, я имею в виду, что, все равно надо разбираться, да, то есть даже если ты такой, да, 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 да. в какой-то момент ты точно будешь понимать, что тебе это мешает, как бы, понимаешь, да, но тебе будет проще уже, да, ну, да, 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 одно с другим как бы, да, понимаешь, комбинировать, да, 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 да,
что там не видит. Вы же хорошо живете, вы что вы смеете, да, ладно. Хорошо живете, я тут плохо живу. Он просягивает, да. Но это не суть, это у меня долго это. Вот теория такова, что ты все равно придешь, тебе все равно придется наладить. Чуть-чуть отношения, но на себе. Ты все равно придешь к тому, что тебе, да, надо, да, ну, она это имела в виду. Но наоборот, это мне это не надо. Разбираться со всеми, ну да, так или иначе. Потому что это тебе будет мешать упираться тебе. Я даже не про здоровье говорю, а то, что ты. Для, для тебя, например, работа важна, и ты понимаешь, что ты бурдюк, например, да. Не хватает чего-нибудь. Да, и ты очень нервничаешь, например, потому что много чего-нибудь. Да. Да, да. Ну, уж если примитивно, да. да. Кири, тебе время, у тебя много времени занимает какие-то ненужные процедуры. Да, да. И так далее. Просто я балды... Да не важно даже как, все равно он понял тебя уже. Он себе так говорит, потому что да. Да, да. Да, да. Ну наоборот, значит, да. Ну еще как работает потому что. Вот что для тебя нормально вот, в жизни? У нормального мужика, ну то есть у всех мужских особей, у них только одно есть. И это дело, которым ты занимаешься ну, в обществе, у людях. То есть вот, только оно сложное, и только оно может быть. Ну да, стату, ну, понимаешь, статуек, да, 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 ну вот это не надо. Ну наоборот, да, да. Ой, вот это не надо. Да. А, это что ли? Нет, смотри, ладно, если это для тебя важно, то как бы. А ты кто такой? Понимаю, то есть на это деньги нужны и положение, да, тоже. Значит, не настолько важно, да. Когда у тебя гарем будет, ты, ты будешь их содержать всех, да. Ну или там не содержать, а просто будет, ну, я не имею в виду, что я имею в виду официальный. Да, то есть, ну, значит, это уже не у нас в стране, да. Ну, ты правильно понимаешь, что только политики могут, ну, наследственные политики, кстати, могут. А, ну или, ну, или это тоже, да, да, да. Черт его знает, непонятно. Это не надо, потому что это да, да, да. один на один, наверное, вопрос решается такой. Ну, смотрите сами. Ну, да не важно, то есть все как бы возвращается. Ну, 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 то есть, да, ты. Ну он просто. Да то они не нормально, не. And we're combining a healthy keto with intermittent fasting. Okay. All right. Number one, you want to go as long as you can in the morning without eating. You just don't want to eat unless you're hungry. That's the, 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 the thing that you need to focus on because so many people eat when they're not hungry and they're wondering why it's not working. They're not getting results because the body finally is burning fat and then you start eating. What will happen is you're going to raise insulin and then you're insulin is going to come high and then it's going to push your blood sugars low mm -hmm. and you're going to be hungry an hour and a half later so really it's mm -hmm. what you ate the night before mm -hmm. that's going to dictate yeah, if you're hungry in the morning <laughs> if you do this correctly like i'm showing you with yeah, just two meals a day you're going to wake up in the morning not hungry <laughs> so goal is to go as long as you can you may find that you can't go all the way to lunch You have to eat at like 11 o'clock. Fine. Eat your breakfast there. Okay, but what will happen, you want to keep pushing it to the point where your your body is fully adapted to fat burning. You're no longer sugar burning. That can take three days up to five days. Sometimes it takes longer to get mm -hmm. into full mm -hmm. ketosis. All right? So that's the first rule of thumb. Um, if you can do two meals with a four-hour window, okay, and what that means is that We eat and then we wait four hours and we eat again. That's your window. That will give you a 20-hour fasting period. That's incredible. That's enough to see some serious results. The only time that would not work for someone as far as weight loss goes is, let's say they're going through menopause, they have a, a slow thyroid condition, and they have a history of dieting, and their metabolism is so slow 
they're going to have to push these together and have one meal a day, and then they will lose weight. And there are even people that still lose just a little bit on this, and they might need to go even longer because their metabolism is so dead. And I've had this happen, not to a lot of people, but certain people that just, you know, from birth, they just had a slow metabolism for one thing or another, and they need to go, like, probably eat every other day. Okay, that's just what they need to do until the, the system heals. But for everyone else, we're going to talk about what are you going to eat on this first meal and the second meal. I've surveyed a lot of people, and this is what they eat, and this is what I eat. Eggs. I do four eggs a day. You can do two to four eggs. Uh, Pasture-raised organic eggs, they're a little more expensive, but they're worth it. Now, it's really important to eat healthy eggs because the factory farm eggs are just so bad. They're just terrible. And then we have avocado. Avocado has oh, yeah. tremendous amount of potassium and really good fats to help you go longer. Cheese. Now, if you are a guy and you have a prostate condition, don't do the cheese. But if you have a high-quality organic um, cheese from a grass-fed cow, goat's cheese is even better. Not a problem. Okay. So then we have bacon. Some people don't want to do bacon. That's totally fine. I like bacon. I do bacon from the farmer's market. Uh, if you're going to go to a health food store, get the nitrate-free organic bacon mm. with, with sugars less than one yeah. gram. Okay. Bacon, by the way, in pork has high levels of vitamin B1. And for those people that are saying bacon is unhealthy, yet they're consuming chicken, Мой пот, ну, ну, сто раз повторял уже, наоборот, да, да, нет, наоборот, да, да, вот он понял тебя. Как жить, как прожить-то теперь, как прожить-то надо, да, понимаешь? Да. Differ, because uh, да. chicken is really disgusting, да. unless you're doing it again uh, from the farmer's market. Okay, nut butters, you can do almond butter, peanut butter, make sure there's no sugar in it, uh, maybe a couple of tablespoons. Now, the reason for this is to give you enough fat, especially in the beginning, so you can go longer, okay, without getting hungry. You know, you're eating at 12, you have a hamburger or a piece of meat or any, a lamb or whatever meat that you want, three to six ounces. Let's say you're younger and uh, you have a fast metabolism, then you do eight ounces. Let's say, for example, you're an athlete, you do eight ounces. Let's say you're a very large person, you need more protein, do eight ounces. I wouldn't want to go over eight ounces per meal. Now, we're not talking about the actual protein grams, we're talking about the actual product, the meat itself, okay? Three to six ounces, or eight ounces. So you don't have to calculate the grams inside that meat, but it is a big difference. And then we consume our vegetables, you can steam them, you can have some raw, or the salad. I do a lot of salads. We need a large amount of salad, so um, some people break up their salad between this meal here and this meal, and they do maybe five cups and five cups, or maybe four cups and four cups. I mean, four cups is not that that much. It's just, it's kind of like a medium-sized salad. I personally do all of my uh, salad at one sitting. I'll do like 10 cups, and sometimes I'll do more than that. So I'm used to it. Um, if you feel worse with consuming those uh, greens, that means that your microbes are not quite in the right place. You might have a condition called SIBO. I'll put a link down below. Uh, in which case you, you want to cut back on your vegetables because what's going to happen, the fiber in the vegetable is going to retain fluid and you're going to feel bloated and you're going to, your weight loss is not going to come off. It's not because you're not losing weight, it's because you're retaining fluid. Okay, just realize you want to feel good after consuming this and you may have to eat small amounts and gradually increase it because guess who's eating your, the fiber from your vegetables? The microbes. And they might not be um, plentiful enough to do that. So. There's many different reasons. I'll put a video down below just on that one topic. Olive oil, balsamic vinaigrette is a great dressing. Maybe a handful of nuts, with some seeds, because we want that fat. So this is like one option of a meal. This is another option of a meal, just to give you an example. I put a link down below to my website because I have a lot of different examples of different meals. I have a whole recipe. Um, but this would be an example of a typical meal for someone. Okay, let's say you do fish. I love salmon. Salmon is one of the best proteins because it has omega-3. We want to do quality protein. So you can also do um, sardines. Believe it or not, there are a good fats in sardines. I did a video on that. Or seafood, okay? This gives you the iodine. So you do your fish or seafood, 
your salad, this is for your dinner, and a fat bomb. What is a fat bomb? It's like a little cookie with healthy fats in it. You can make recipes for this. A lot of people consume a fat bomb just to get them satisfied so they can go from one meal to the next. As your body adapts to fat burning, you probably won't even need that because you're burning your own fat, but in the beginning it's really helpful. Here's another option for some food. You can do chicken with the skin, preferably, nice and crispy, or chicken wings. Let's say you do, again, three to six ounces of chicken or chicken wings. You do your protein. It's moderate protein, asparagus, okay, or any other vegetable that you like, or your salad. And then you do olives as your fat. Okay. I do a lot of nuts myself. I do that after the meal. Uh, to the point where I'm like, really satisfied so I can go longer. But the, the key is not snacking at night. So you want to add enough fat to go from this meal all the way to breakfast. Now, the number one weakness people have, I just realized, was boredom. So you're going to have to keep really busy right here and make sure you're not bored so you don't eat the wrong thing. You can consume your vitamins. It's not a problem any time of the day. Apple cider vinegar, teaspoon, and some lemon is really good to have when you drink water coffee in the morning try to just do one um you can do tea you can add some bulletproof that's a mct oil coconut oil you can put that blend that in your drink if you want especially in the beginning to allow you to go without having the first meal not a problem but if you find that that slows down your weight loss as you do this over a period of a couple weeks then you might want to drop out the extra fat um urge to snack that means you need more fat and more greens, more vegetables. Those two things will solve the problem. If you crave bread, you need more B vitamins. I recommend electrolytes, uh, a good powder, and B vitamins and or nutritional yeast. You can get them in tablets. Uh, very important just to make this transition smooth so you have no tablet. A good powder and B I recommend electrolytes, uh, a good powder, and B vitamins and or nutritional yeast. You can get them in tablets. Uh, very important just to make this transition smooth so you have no problems. Sea salt, don't be afraid to add more sea salt because you're going to need more salt. You're going to dump more fluid on this program and so you have to replace it. The best time to exercise is when you're fasting, so in the morning. Okay, it's actually going to get better benefits. Um, realize that it could take longer to adapt, but the way that you know you're in hardcore ketosis is that you crave nothing. You're not even hungry anymore. That's when you know it's really working. Better than any other test. This should give you uh, the next layer of information or knowledge. You need better than it. You're not even the way that you know you're in hardcore ketosis is that you crave nothing. You're not even hungry anymore. That's when you know it's really working. Better than any other test. This should just give you uh, the next layer of information or knowledge you need to know, and uh, I will see you in the third video. Hey, if you're liking this content, please subscribe now, and I will actually keep you updated on future videos. Talk, talk. Попал в передрягу? Не сдавайся. dunk. Чай World of Tanks. Я приготовил особые подарки. Я хочу вам сказать, что я вакцинировался три раза и еще буду. Зачем? Я здоров. Я человек законопослушный, у меня есть спорт. Now I have done a lot of videos on the ketogenic diet, uh, but I wanted to include a new video for beginners with all the updates. But I want to make it really, really simple. So let's just start with the basics. What is a ketone? A ketone is not a fat, it's not a carbohydrate, it's not a protein. It's kind of a combination or it has characteristics of both a fat and a carbohydrate, but it's not either. It comes fat, but a ketone is an alternative fuel source. And the way that you get ketones is you simply lower your carbohydrates in your diet or you reduce the frequency and this is why we recommend a low-carb diet with intermittent fasting. And that way you can maximize your ability to make ketones. Ketones have many advantages versus regular reduce the frequency of eating. 
lower your carbohydrates in your diet, or you reduce the frequency, simply lower your carbohydrates <coughs> in your diet, or you reduce the frequency of eating. And this is why we recommend a low carb diet with intermittent fasting. And that way you can maximize your ability to make ketones. Ketones have many advantages versus regular glucose fuel. Number one, and it will increase your oxygen in your body. Number two, it increases your energy. Number three, it supports the brain. In fact, your brain prefers ketones over glucose. Same thing with the heart. If your heart is damaged or your brain is damaged, ketones are the answer and they can bypass mechanical damage pathways and feed the tissues directly. Most of the body tissues can run in ketones, but some parts need glucose. And this is the confusion that people have. They think they need to consume glucose to get glucose. No, there's something called gluconeogenesis, okay? Glucose, neo, new, genesis, the creation of. Your body can make glucose if it needs it from fat, ketones, proteins. You don't need to consume carbohydrates to get glucose. Now, it does take time to turn the fat into ketones. It's going to take between three to five days. It all depends on how damaged insulin is in your body, how damaged your pancreas is. If you are a pre-diabetic, if you are a diabetic, if you have insulin resistance, it's going to take longer and longer to adapt. But by lowering the carbs and going on intermittent fasting, you'll get there a lot faster. That explains how to get into ketosis. You lower the carb, and you lower the frequency of eating. Now, why would you want to do ketosis? What, what is the big benefit of doing that? Well, you're going to lower insulin, and most people have high insulin. Rarely does your doctor ever test you for insulin. They'll test you for glucose, but not insulin. Um, if they did, they probably would find higher levels of insulin. The test that you would want to do is called HOMA-IR, and that will pick this up. Too much insulin causes insulin resistance. Insulin resistance is behind prediabetes. Insulin resistance is behind metabolic syndrome, high blood pressure, uh, fat in the gut area right through here. And Prediabetes leads to diabetes, so in reality, diabetes stems from high levels of insulin at a certain point, and so keto and intermittent fasting will lower insulin, and that is the big benefit of doing this. There's a lot of other benefits, too. You can reduce fat in your liver, you can improve your cognitive performance, you can improve your, your mood, you can help decrease blood pressure, decrease fasting, will lower insulin at a certain point, and so keto and intermittent fasting will lower insulin. And that's the big benefit of doing this. There's a lot of other benefits too. You can reduce fat in your liver, you can improve your cognitive performance, you can improve your, your mood, you can help decrease blood pressure, decrease inflammation, improve your energy, and decrease your belly fat. But the real big benefit that allows you to do this eating plan is your hunger goes away, okay? Without being hungry all the time, it makes it really easy to do long-term as a healthy lifestyle. And there's even additional benefit if you're doing intermittent fasting, that's autophagy. Basically what this is, it's a recycling of garbage in your tissue. So all the damaged protein, the protein that your body doesn't need, it's clogging everything up. Guess what? Your body will recycle that and turn it into new amino acids. That's one of the big uh, things about autophagy. To do this, you have to fast at least for 18 hours. So the combination of keto and IF work very, very nicely together because if you just do keto without intermittent fasting and your metabolism is slow, you may not achieve your weight loss goal or your other goals because it would take a very, very long time and sometimes it's not going to work. Why? Because the frequency of eating in general will trigger insulin. So the frequency of eating is actually very, very important in relationship to lowering insulin. All right, then you have this concept of a healthy keto plan versus dirty keto. 
of course, we recommend the healthy keto. And this basically is higher quality ingredients, grass-fed, wild-caught, pasture-raised versus conventional type foods right here. With healthy keto, you're focused on nutrient-dense foods. With dirty keto, you're really just focused on keeping your carbs low. Um, when you do healthy keto, you end up looking a lot better than doing the dirty keto. All right, the rule of thumb is end up looking a lot better than doing the dirty keto. Keto. All right, the rule of thumb is don't eat unless you have hunger, okay? Unless you have the sensation of being hungry. When you're doing the healthy version of keto and you're doing enough leafy greens and vegetables, okay, and you're doing enough healthy fats mm -hmm. and you're improving insulin resistance, mm -hmm. you're not only going to be full, but you're going to be satisfied. Now, if you look at the pie chart here, we have about 5% carbs of your total calories and then 5% vegetables, which, by the way, actually adds up to a lot because if you look at the carbohydrates and vegetables, you minus the fiber, giving the net carb, it doesn't come out to a lot of calories. So if we look at the total carbs, which would include like berries, hummus, nuts, and seeds, there's a little bit of carbs in those, um, and you combine the vegetables, that's like 10%. Then we have 20% protein, and then we have 70% fat. Now, the fat looks like a lot, but realize fat is basically double the calories. Of, now, the fat looks like a lot, but realize fat is basically double the calories of other macronutrients. But if we actually look at a, an actual plate with your food on the plate, if you just look at it like this, to keep it really simple, half the plate vegetables, okay, a quarter would be protein and a quarter would be fat. But because Protein and fat usually come together. That's going to be pretty much half your plate. That's what it should look like. The benefit of the vegetables are the vitamin C, the minerals, other nutrients and phytonutrients. Okay, I'm going through this really fast, but I'm just giving you a summary. Uh, in the next few videos, which I'm going to put in a link down below, I'm going to talk more about exactly what to eat when you're eating. But I wanted to give you the simple overview of all the most important things. So now let's just put it all together. <laughs> Ideally, when you wake up in the morning, if you keep your carbs low, you're not going to be hungry. So you want to skip breakfast and push it forward to the point where your breakfast now becomes your lunch. So don't eat in the morning. You can do coffee or tea. So ideally, your first meal would be at lunch right here, and then your second meal would be at dinner. So you're doing two meals a day. If you keep this within a six-hour window, that will give you 18-hour fast. Now, what's really magical about 18 hours is that's when the autophagy starts. You start getting some really cool benefits. The way that you're going to avoid snacking between the meals is you're going to have a little more fat with this meal and this meal to be able to go longer. Okay? And as you start doing it and becoming more adapted, you kind of cut back on some of the fat because you're going to be burning your own fat and your own fat is the healthiest fat you can burn. But the key is this 18 hour fast right here. If you have the snack within your eating window, fine if you need to do that. But we don't want to snack after the dinner all the way to the next uh, first meal. You can drink fluids, you want to take electrolytes and vitamins for sure and sea salt, that's a necessity. But we recommend you don't eat anything. The common foods that are really good to focus on pasture raised eggs, okay, organic if all possible, shellfish, fish, sardines, meats, organic, cheese. Now, a lot of people don't do well in cheese. Cheese has a lot of hormones, it's not good for people with prostate issues, it's not good for people with allergies. So, some people do not do well in cheese. Personally, I do a small amount of cheese, and if I'm going to consume cheese, it has to be grass-fed organic. Uh, I usually get European cheese, and I don't have a tremendous amount, but you can overdo it with cheese. Olives, that's a must. Avocados, lots of vegetables, 7 to 10 cups. Very beneficial. Nuts. For some people, they don't do well on that. Especially if they're prone to kidney stones, you have to be careful with almonds. Okay? 
as well as spinach, so I'd avoid those if you're prone to kidney stones. Also, seeds like sunflower seeds, perfect on a ketogenic plan. All right, here you have it, the basic ketogenic plan for beginners. So if you want more knowledge on how to create a healthy body, subscribe now and get daily notifications. Сколько здесь контента? Сколько прилагательных? Mm-hmm.